Okay, welcome back. We are looking at Facebook, obviously, and if you have been around social media any length of time or internet marketing, you undoubtedly have a Facebook account. If you don't have one, uh, it's fairly easy to open one. We will not cover opening a, opening a Facebook account. We'll assume that you already have one. And what are you going to do in order to drive traffic? Well, there's several ways that you can do that. And one of the best ways to do that is to simply connect with people that have the same interests and are going to be interested in the products and services that you buy. Now, obviously, uh, people will not be looking for products and services in their newsfeed. People typically go to internet marketing, or people typically go to Facebook in order to connect on a personal level. You'll see most of these posts are personal. They have nothing to do with internet marketing. However, uh, the same rule applies in Facebook as it does in any other social media uh, platform, which is you want to use what Gary Vandercheck uh, calls jab, 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 right hook. A lot of the people who are in the news feed that you're looking at right now, uh, they are uh, internet marketers, but they are sharing personally, they're sharing socially, and then they are also sharing offers. And you can see here, here's a gentleman that's sharing an offer, but he shares personally at times. Uh, here is someone else further down who is sharing uh, something that is business related, but he shares personal also. So sharing on your Facebook, your news feed, the easiest way, which is pretty much you're just going to be able to, you're just going to go right up here to your status and you're just going to share something. You're going to share a link. You're going to share something that people are going to want to buy. Now, if you are not connected to people that are going to buy your products and services, then sharing in your newsfeed is not going to be an effective method in order to get traffic to your site or traffic to your offers. You must be connecting to people that are going to be interested in your offers. If you're doing in the make, if you're uh, participating in the make money online niche that means you're going to need to be connecting to marketers you're going to need to be connecting to people who are buying internet marketing products well how do you find those people well one of the ways that you can do that is to find groups of people that are connected or people people that are gathering around internet marketing uh, for for example here's a place where people are doing make twenty dollars online in 24 hours that's an internet marketing group whether or not you can join that group uh, it may be an open or a closed group but you can find other marketers to connect to and those are going to going to be the people that you want to uh, you want to have as part of your friends so that when you share posts they will actually see them Okay, and you can see in this group there are well, there are over 27,000 people. Uh, here are some of the other members, and there are tons of members in here, and all of these people are undoubtedly looking to make money online. That's one of the ways in which you find people to connect with in order to get them into your newsfeed. Now you're only going to have 5,000 people that you can add to your personal, uh, your personal fan or your personal profile that you're going to be able to market to in this way. So once you get up to 5,000 people, then you're going to need to go the second route, which is to join groups. Now you'll see here that Facebook is going to suggest some groups to you, and they're going to suggest those groups to you based on the friends that you have. So in this particular case, this profile that I'm using, I'm going to get suggestions for internet marketing groups. Here's an affiliate marketing review groups. You want to join these groups, right? There's no limit on the groups you can join. Now you want to go ahead and let's just click join. Uh, some of these groups. Now, all the groups are going to have different rules. Some of the groups you're going to be able to uh, post your offer. Some of the groups you're not going to be able to post your offer or affiliate offers, and you will not be able to participate in that way. But you want to follow the rules inside of the group. And each one of the rules, is gonna, each one of the groups, is going to tell you what the rules are. But you're going to be looking inside of those groups to connect with people personally. Right? This is the way you're going to get traffic. You want to get them on your personal profile. And you want to send out those, uh, those, those, uh, those links. You want to send out those status updates that are going to get people connected. Now, of course, the other way that you can actually get people connected is to use your own fan page. And let's talk about what that means right here. Okay, what you are looking at here is you are looking at a fan page on Facebook. And obviously, 
one of the first steps that you are going to have to undertake is to get people to like your fan page. Now, you can obviously, you can pay to have that done on sites like Fiverr, or you can undergo an, or a more organic process where you try to get people who you know are interested. You want to get people connected, and you want to invite people to the fan page that you know are going to have an interest in what you're doing. You can definitely promote your page and once again this is a more of a paid advertising um, a, a method of getting people to that page but we're talking about free or low-cost methods so what do you want to do what are you going to do in order to get people to like your page well in this case we're operating in a niche that's outside of internet marketing what you would do is you would create a page in the niche that you are operating in and what you want to do then is you want to then invite your friends right you want to invite your friends from your personal profile uh, to your fan page because you know they're interested because you selected them on the basis of their interest now so how are you going to do that well you're just going to come right down here to invite and it's going to give you the opportunity to invite all of your friends and that's one of the reasons why you want to be focused in terms of how you invite your friends to your personal profile in order then to invite them to a fan page where they're going to get more focus on your particular business now uh, in when you are posting to your personal profile the uh, the 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 rule of three or four to one is in effect but when you're posting to your fan page you can be a little more direct and focused on the business you can do things that are going to lead to more lead generation and so uh, what you want to do with your local with your fan page is you want to make sure that you get an opt-in form someplace on that page and one of the easiest ways to do that is that you are going to then want to use a site called 22 social now I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna put that right here in the search bar and just type in 22 social and when you get to 22 social what you want to do is to install the 22 social app and what this 22 social app is going to do is going to allow you to put a tab or another page or an application onto your fan page where you are going to be able to put whatever you want on that particular page now obviously this is how we're gonna funnel traffic back to our website as well as collect names and email addresses from inside of Facebook so now let's go ahead and just click the install button to 22 social when we do that we're just gonna click like to get the app as they're instructing us to do and we are then gonna install the free app now 22 social does have a cost associated you, you can you can uh, definitely if you decide to do more with 22 social once you get uh, the hang of it you can do that but we want to basically get um, our website blog and our lead capture page connected to our Facebook page so now we are going to then click the free app install now once you get inside of that free app they're gonna ask you to connect your fan page and you're just gonna simply click create the app now once you're inside of the app you can then customize it in order to get the maximum traffic to your page now there are a couple of things that you're gonna want to do in order to do that and all of your buttons here are at the top that you're going to want to use inside of 22 social now one of the first things we're going to talk about here is the content and you can change the header to to say what you want that's not the most important thing here one of the things that you're going to be able to change is you're going to be able to change the media which is for the most part whatever video that you're going to want to have playing whether or not you want to have it auto playing or whether or not you want to just have it as part of this particular extension of your fan page you can do that so you can put a YouTube video in there or you've got some other choices whether you use Vimeo or you've got audio stitcher or you can do Google Hangout if you want to do your uh, your your stream of Google Hangout you can do that here you can do a live stream there 
or you know whatever it is that you want to do in terms of your media you can do that here from inside 22 social now uh, you can also customize the button that's there um, right now it says 22 social Facebook page and you've got a link to 22 social now obviously you want to make that link to your website right so you know in this particular case we're gonna change that we're gonna change that to our website and we're gonna change this to out the title of our of what we want our, our text to be on the button so we've got the massive traffic button I see uh, so we've got a blueprint there and so we're gonna just click preview so we can see how it's gonna look right we try to get massive traffic blueprint in there if we could and then you want to make sure to save your changes so what you want to do is you want to customize each and every one of the things, the details here. You've got contact information there. You've got your social links. It's This is a very helpful app. It's free to use, and it's really customizable. Now, what's uh, one of the great parts about this is that now what you have on your fan page is you have a page that has all of the activity that you're going to want to uh, you're going to want to be able to use in order to collect leads. So what are you going to do? So you're going to go back to your fan page here, and what you'll notice there is you've got a click here button on the front of your fan page nice and prominent well that button is now going to lead to that fan page tab that we just created so whatever your call to action is you want to put it into an image now you're going to change the image I'll show you how to change the image here um, we're just going to go right here we're going to click that down arrow and then we're going to click that pencil there and we can literally change that image to anything that we want. If we want to say, uh, you know, get your free report. If you want to say uh, 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 live event, whatever we want to say, we can do it on that image and we can change it. And it will lead us direct to that, uh, that fan page tab or application where we have the opportunity to collect names and email addresses. That's how we're going to funnel traffic from Facebook back to our site that we know is is, uh, is targeted and actually wants the things that we offer. Okay, so now, uh, so the so the way that we're going to do this is we're going to try to get people who are interested to our fan page and we're going to try to attract them to our fan page tab. And so every time we have something that we're offering on the fan page tab, we're literally going to put it in our status for our fan page. We're also going to take that same fan page tab and we're going to put it in our status for, for our personal account. Also, giving people the opportunity to like the page and then go on to, to uh, see what it is that we have to offer there. Now, there are some other applications that we can use that will be helpful. One in particular that's going to be helpful to you is if you do video marketing at all or video promotion, is you want to be able to demonstrate those or show those emails or show those videos on your Facebook page and you can do that effectively with one of the uh, YouTube applications I'm going to show you that here in a minute and then we're going to connect it to our fan page and we're going to click add page tab so once we now have the tab created we're going to go inside of our admin panel and then what we're going to do is we're going to put in our YouTube account name whatever that is and once we do that then what we'll have is we will have the ability then to have our videos promoted here on YouTube we can have a featured video here now in this particular case I'm just gonna write in uh, a the uh, video or the video channel of a marketer there on YouTube I'm not gonna put a, a, a featured video in there we're gonna click Save Settings and there you'll have all of the videos available for your channel Right, you can ha actually have a, you can have a, a, have you can actually customize this video uh, right here uh, that you want to have then on your Facebook tab. So what that does is that means that if we go back to our fan page here, we can then look at this video and we can then decide that we want to have this, uh, we want to have that channel, but we can then change the thumbnail to say something like uh, visit our, you know, you know our, our YouTube channel or, or low carb TV or something that's going to be eye catching, something that's going to be attention grabbing to make people come see that page. And we can also change this, w exchange this with any one of these, you know, with these uh, 
uh, uh, these these buttons so that our buttons are actually the ones that we want to see. So we want to have people visiting our content, and the content is ultimately going to funnel people back to your website. Now, so the 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 benefit here is that if you've got video content on YouTube where you're directing people back to your website, video is engaging, and you can get people to watch your video and then have a desire to go back to your website because they like your content. Okay, so you can do all of that on Facebook, and as you begin to draw people to your fan page, getting more likes, you want to have these buttons here that are going to give them the opportunity to experience your content so that then they then want to go on to visit your website to take a look at your offers. Okay, thanks, and I will see you in the next video.